It was the 5th of November, 1605. Man, King James was mighty lucky just to be alive. The Roman Catholics were displeased with his dealings. I guess you could say they had more than had feelings. Gunpowder was planted in Parliament's cellar. Thirty barrels were enough to really damage a fella. They planned to blow up James and Parliament too. I guess they couldn't think of nothing better to do. Oh, mammy! Guy Fawkes was in charge of the explosion. Bit before the Big Bang came. One moral chap warned a friend to beware. And before Fawkes knew it, we'd caught wind of the scare. Now, the ancient Egyptians had a way to preserve a body for the afterlife. Embalming a body was the way to begin And for that you need a ritual nerve An excavation went through A brick named Colin Carter Found his underground hut When making a mummy You need a clean shell Scoop the brain, through the nose That's the best way I suppose A mummy mask Part of the burial task Can be made to resemble A young man's face Mummification is a Preservation of a body Labeled as unclean One man known as Gandhi Spoke out and called his treatment made They could drink from the wells Where water was got Touch food meant for a higher cast Ow, it may as well run Sign Caste systems what you're born into Caste systems will make for us just to be Caste systems if I told your position Gandhi felt the handling was cruel and abused. 
just After years of wrongful treatment In my house, my name could trust Adopting an untouchable girl Took a people under his wing Then the Indian government Tried to abolish the whole thing <laughs> Passing laws that they hoped would prohibit Cast discrimination That was their attempt to try And integrate the nation You'd be dead wrong If you assumed discrimination was a thing of the past Think about the place that you call home. Who are your outcasts? The cast is done, but you're Cattle on 
on the ground The first Messiah Was a man they called Masinta And God spoke unto Masinta And said he'd send him down some cows Send him some cows Now Masinta thanked God in advance and asked him what in return he'd seek. And God told Macenta, Hey, it's all my house. But God also warned Macenta of one other thing. He said, Don't make a sound or a peek. Cattle streamed down right from the sky. It was the strangest thing to see. A nearby hunter let loose a big cry. Masinta thought, I hope God don't think that was me. But he did. Now the myth is not the only reason Masai herd cattle. It makes sense ecologically too. For moving around, seeking water and fresh food keeps nomad people healthy too. Masinta.
survivors it's hard to drown us cause we're excellent sea divers we can chew through pipes survive a nuclear blast scale walls and fall and not get hurt at all we've done it in the past rats yes we're resilient despite attempts to wipe us out we grow by millions and although we only live one short year long a productive rat and wife could host a family 15,000 strong No rats! Oh shucks! Us furry vitamins here to stay Oh fooey! Rats! Yes rats! You know you're gonna need us anyway Just think of all the breakthroughs science made At our expense you can't deny, no matter how hard you try, our, our contribution's been immense. Rats, we're highly adaptable. So what if we've got a few diseases that are contractable? And as for crops we devastate, we've, we've gotta, gotta eat. Tell me, what would you choose for an entree? Poison pellets, or rice, fruits, nuts, and sweets. Did you know that one year in Hawaii, some of our brothers ate about $11 million worth of sugar cane? Yeah. Talk about a sweet tooth! You've heard of rats, nocturnal creatures. That means we're up all night inspecting kitchen features. Wherever man goes, a rat too surely can. There must be some way we could live to enjoy the same long lifespan. Oh. Oh, shucks! Us furry vermin's here to stay. Oh, fooey! Rats, yes, rats. You know you're gonna need us in any way. Rats! Oh, rats! Us freaky vermin wanna play. Rats! You bet your sweet patootie, rats! You know you're gonna need us anyway. Just lived in fairy tales. I'm here to 
tell you that it's so no, no. Fuck the dragon. Just live in fairy tales. There are dragons in Komodo. If you fuck the dragon. 